In this tutorial, we're going to present the Canopy Kitchen Sink. This is a demo application that introduces all the GUI controls that are part of the MDSL language. So the file starts with a, a main element that defines a menu, very simple menu, uh, a couple views. And basically, the home view is, is a table menu. That's a, a second type of menu supported by uh, Canopy. I'm going to command click on this element, the first level menu, so that we, it, the editor will drive us directly to where it is. And as you can see, this menu is a table defined as menu, and that contains a number of menu items. And basically, that's a demo of all, all our controls. Um, the, the file is you know, very, uh, very basic. It has a, a number of views. So there's the two views of the main menu plus you know all the views that represent um, all the different uh, controls. So we have, for instance, the action view. So the, the action view has a simple layout. Uh, again, I'm going to command click on it. And here, what we can see is that there is a series of buttons. And each button is wired to a different standard action. The first one is send an email. Uh, the second one is phone a friend. Uh, the third one will open a page, and the last one will uh, navigate to a, a different view. Um, one thing we're going to demo also is the ability to create some internal data structures that are loaded um, you know, as part of the application on the phone. Uh, so there is no, even though it, it's a connection, that a data connection uh, from the, the programming model perspective, um, there is no communication with backend services, and we'll, we'll have a second tutorial that explains how you know this this happens, and we we'll provide all the MDSL files for that. So here we have a, a simple contact structure, and you know there could be many rows. I just put one, but you know we could have as many as you want. You can have as many data sources as you want, um, and and you can bind them to a particular uh, view. So let's go down to the contact view if we can find it. Uh, let me just. So the contact view defines a contact layout. And the contact layout is bound to the connection contacts. And that's how you know, the data will end up in, in the contact layout. So the contact layout itself is a simple table. And the structure of that table is, is described in the contact row layout. So I'll just go here. And as you can see, it has a series of text elements and a picture. And because the name of the controls are the same as the name of the data structure, the binding will happen. We don't need any kind of mapping element. If, if those two names were different, if here instead of email we had, for instance, email address, we would need to define a mapping element um, right here. And in this mapping element, we'll define um, you know, that email maps to um, email address. And that's as simple as that. So I don't want to, you know, there will be another tutorial on that topic, so I don't want to spend too much time there. Uh, but basically, you get the ID. You're going to see a lot of, you know, controls, buttons, labels, uh, images, and whatnot. And uh, so without waiting much further, let's go now uh, compile this file and generate the Objective C code. <coughs> 